We've been gone for a while, but man, we are back. Crypto has come and rallied here recently in the past few weeks. I just wanted to do a real quick catch-up video of what's been really happening the past couple weeks. And maybe there's starting to be a little bit more interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency overall now that Bitcoin has held over 34k for over a week now. There has been some breaking news and just a lot of stuff has really been popping off here recently with crypto. So I just wanted to keep you updated here. So we're going to hop into it. First off, if you're, you're new to my channel, my name's Rick Crypto. I kind of go over the news and anything that's really happening related to cryptocurrency. I'm also venturing into trying to cross over like cinematography and cryptocurrency. So if you're interested in that type of content, feel free to go check me out on TikTok. So let's jump into the news. So we have for, of course, of course, FTX, the, the Grinch of crypto. Sam Bakeman Fried convicted of defrauding cryptocurrency customers of billions, not to mention he was the number one Democratic contributor to Joe Biden's campaign. We will just push that off to the side for right now. But Sam Bakeman Fried, his two commanders, his ex girlfriend and best friend, flipped on him for plea deals lower sentencing. He could be serving up to 115 years in prison for defrauding um, his customers. So Robin Peter to pay Paul really doesn't work out in the long term for uh, anyone, especially <laughs> Sam Bankman fried and his uh, Ponzi scheme. And uh, there's so much to say about this guy. He's such a scoundrel. He had you know well-off parents that thought they could just pay off everyone and talk their way out of a problem and it really just uh, didn't work out in this scenario he got on the stand started talking you know thinking he was smarter than everyone in the courtroom and it took only five hours five hours for the jury to come back and say dude you are gone you're out of here. That was uh, good to hear. Glad this this dark cloud is finally coming to a close from uh, the cryptocurrency community. It's good to kind of put this behind us and, and move on. Hopefully, this last bear market really got rid of a lot of the bad actors in cryptocurrency. And speaking of bad actors, a major player last market was these meme coins and there was a few like um, time that had infinite money glitch staking forever compound your money million X your coins yeah so a big uh, pusher of this what project um, was none other than Dave Portnoy with safe moon this was huge on social media and their founders again uh, the SEC went after them, and they are finally getting arrested. This is amazing to see. Let's see what this uh, news article here from Be in Crypto states. Dave Portney talks about Bitcoin Barstool Spo Sports. Once a property of Penn Entertainment was repurchased by Portnoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I literally tried to convince Jay to do it. Bitcoin to Barstool Sports balance sheet back in the day. It was then I couldn't. I could see us definitely having Bitcoin on the balance sheet in the future. Again, Dave Portnoy, I remember watching YouTube videos of him pushing Safe Moon. There's pictures of him wearing a hat. Maybe I'll try to throw one up here somewhere. Off of that, another not meme coin, which is great to see is XRP. XRP, uh, I was really holding out and not uh, adding this to the bag for a really, really long time. Uh, but I went ahead and picked some up in the bear market. And on this channel, I will only speak about currencies that I, or, you know, tell you about currencies that I've actually purchased myself. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about these pie in the sky 
uh, cryptocurrencies or NFT projects that may give you 100x opportunities. I am a very conservative Bitcoin crypto investor. I am only going to really discuss projects if they are in that meme coin category that I have personally put my own money behind. And XRP is one of those projects I put some money behind in this bear market. And it's great to see that it broke, I think topped out today at 62 cents, um, which is just really good to see uh, in reference to uh, just the overall fight with the SEC. They've been taking some L's uh, recently um, in this court case that's been just back and forth again. It's just like this. You can see the clouds splitting in cryptocurrency, and we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel with um, XRP kind of chugging along, uh, pushing this uh, momentum forward. With that momentum moving forward, this brings us to the next topic here, which is uh, Bloomberg uh, pushed out an article, which you're going to start seeing a ton of talk about uh, with the Bitcoin having anticipation of next year. But what does this mean? What is Bitcoin having and does it push up the cryptocurrency price? So this all comes down to a very simple economics, supply and demand. If people are wanting Bitcoin and it's going to be harder to mine, it's going to go up inevitably. But this is going to be the fourth having to happen. Uh, we have a chart here. Let me go ahead and... Um, pull this up so you can see the Bitcoin having every year it usually rallies about a year out and we're right in that sweet spot right now and it'll go up until the having and then everyone that's been dollar cost averaging up into the having most likely is going to end up selling off after the having occurs this is great for long-term holders but Buying up into the having, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months ahead of schedule. And if you're not going to be holding for five years or however long it may take, you may get burned pretty bad. But the having means it's going to be harder to mine cryptocurrency or specifically Bitcoin. And this is good news. Really tough for the miners because it's going to take a lot more if you're lean towards that kind of energy mindset, Bitcoin's bad for the environment. Uh, I can post another video about what a farce that is in regards to the agenda that Bitcoin's bad for the environment. Uh, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. This is just a real quick news update uh, to keep you informed on what's kind of happening in the ground for Bitcoin. Uh, so the Bitcoin halvings coming up. It's going to be Really awesome to see what mainstream media has to say about the Bitcoin having, especially once Bitcoin breaks 40,000. That's going to be a pretty sweet day overall. But for this video, we had FTX locked up. You know, he's out of here. Uh, we'll see kind of how that evolves. We had Dave Portnoy, Safe Moon. You know, meme coins, not going to be a huge fan of them. Hey, I was a big proponent of Shiba Inu, but again, you got to get in early. If you start seeing TikToks, if you start seeing shorts, you start seeing IG videos about these meme coins, you're too late. You're too late. It's that simple. Don't get caught uh, up in the, the meme coin height. Do the research and try to, you know, get in early. That, that, that's been my strategy. It hasn't reaped massive gains, but it's been, like I said, I'm conservative. If you like this information and you'd like more of it, I'm trying to get better at putting more content out. It's, it's been really tough lately, to be completely honest. Um, I'm going to try to do better. I got to do better. Rah! Do better. At getting these videos out to you. If you want more, show the support. It's definitely motivational for me. Uh, go ahead and like this video, so subscribe, and then turn on those notifications. It just really helps out my channel a ton and gets me coming back here to make these videos for you. Until next time, bye.